for me, harm reduction is um, it's quite straightforward. Um, I suppose as someone with a science background and, and pharmacists do consider themselves scientists, um, I see harm reduction as an effective intervention that reduces risk and produces benefits to the health of the individual and produces benefits in terms of public health, bloodborne virus control. Um, so for me, harm reduction has always just been about an effective intervention, a way to bring about change to produce health benefits, to produce benefits to society, to save money, to um, help people, encourage people to engage in service provision. I probably didn't think of any moral or ethical issues around harm reduction when I first introduced it because I didn't see any. I still don't think there are any. Um, it just seems very practical, very common sense. And it's just part of drug treatment. There is no, in my mind, difference between treatment and harm reduction because harm reduction is part of drug treatment. Clearly, you know, we want a comprehensive range of interventions to help people ultimately stop using drugs because that was what people want to do. But that is not something that people do overnight. And it's not something I think, if many people are really honest, they want to do overnight. But very few people don't want to stay alive and reduce the chaos and the harm that they could be exposed to. So therefore, for me, harm reduction is about offering something to someone, whatever point they're at in their drug use, and keeping them safe, reducing risk, and helping them at the same time move forward and think about future possibilities.